find the minimum and maximum possible values of radii for which a circle can have four distinct intersections with the following ellipse. Suppose this is an ellipse and this red circle is intersecting this ellipse at four distinct points. But if we increase the radius, then after a particular value, circle cannot intersect the ellipse more than two times. And in the similar way, if we decrease the radius, then after a particular value, it would not be able to intersect the ellipse more than two times. You have to find the range of this radius. You are watching Brain Explorers, the world your brain starts working. Suppose this is the ellipse whose center is on the origin of the Cartesian plane. In this ellipse, the major axis lie along x-axis and minor axis is along y-axis. Here, minimum curvature or uh, the points where the ellipse has maximum radius of curvature are those points where it is intersecting y-axis. Similarly, the points where uh, this ellipse has maximum curvature or minimum radius of curvature are those points where the ellipse is intersecting x-axis. If we find these uh, curvatures or these radius of curvatures, we can tell that uh, between these two radius of curvatures, the obtained circle can intersect the ellipse four times. But here we will find these two uh, values by some another method. Here this circle is intersecting this ellipse at four distinct points and all these uh, distinct points have four distinct x coordinates. If we choose a circle such that its center lie on x axis then in this way we find four distinct intersections but two repeated x coordinates two pairs of two repeated x coordinates means uh, the first two intersections have same x coordinate and second two intersections have same x coordinates. Now place the, the circle such that the two of its intersections are at the same point where this ellipse is intersecting x axis. Here circle is touching the ellipse and another value is still somewhere else. But if we fix this uh, point where the circle is touching the ellipse and keep decreasing the radius, we find that this another value approaches this first value and after a particular radius they both become same. And this is the radius after which circle would not be able to intersect the ellipse four times. Here we have to find the radius of the circle. So suppose equation of the ellipse is x square over a square plus y square over b square is equal to 1. The point where ellipse is intersecting the x-axis is a comma 0 and let us suppose that center of the circle is c comma 0 so the radius of the circle is r equals to a minus c. Hence equation of circle can be written as x minus c whole square plus y minus 0 whole square is equal to a minus c whole square which is radius square. So y square is equal to a minus c whole square minus x minus c whole square. Putting the value of y square from second equation into first equation, we get a quadratic equation. This quadratic equation has equal roots because we have seen that both the values of x are equal to a. Let's see a fact about those equations which contain repeated roots. Suppose x minus x1, x minus x2, x minus x3 whole square equal to 0 is the equation where x3 is a repeated root. Differentiate this equation with respect to x. We obtain another equation of 1 less degree. Here x1 and x2 are not satisfying the equation. You can check it by putting x equals to x1. But x3 is still satisfying the obtained equation. 
on putting x equal to x3, we get LHS equals to 0. Similarly, here also the roots are repeated. So, after differentiating this equation with respect to x, the another equation will still have the same root which was repeated. Since the uh, previous equation is quadratic equation, it has only two roots. So, one of them will be again the root of this equation which is x equals to a. So, on putting x equals to a, LHS will be equals to 0. Here a minus c is the radius of the circle. So, we can replace a minus c by r and we get r equals to b square over a. This is the lower limit for the circle to have four distinct intersections. Similarly, upper limit is a square over b. Here it is assumed that b is less than a. Now, in our question, a square is equal to 4 and b square is equal to 9. So, a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3. Here 3 is greater than 2. So, the r lies between 2 square over 3 and 3 square over 2. This was our solution. Let us move to our another question. In the following equilateral triangle, EC is twice of AE and BD is twice of DC. Find angle BFC. Try this question and send us your solution and if you have any question like this then please share with us. Don't forget to like and share our video and for more such videos subscribe to our channel Brain Exploders. Thanks for watching.